Hello and welcome. My name is Renee Thomas and I am a construction software specialist with say, uh, with Sockeye Consulting. I am here to show you um, an in-depth dive into the Sage Construction Management Estimating feature. Um, so as you can see, we have entered into our lead section and went to our estimates for Farmington, one of our projects. Um, in this section, you'll see right off the bat when you enter the estimating um, that you have your estimate number, estimate title, and status. So you can have as many of these as you need. Um, you just add a new one if you want. Um, you also can export to Excel. And then also when you have multiples, you'll be able to compare. You also can up update individual estimate items as well. Um, the reports you can print would all be related to um, estimates, whether it's by the contact, the classification type, or the salesperson. So that allows you to kind of get a close-up look of what's going on with all of your estimates. Um, underneath the estimate section, you'll see they give you a brief breakdown of where your cost and sell data is coming from, whether it's in material, labor, equipment, subcontractors, or other. Um, so it creates a, a great visual for you to kind of see where you're at in terms of your cost versus your sell and where you might be able to make profits. It also gives you an updated um, cost line items um, with or without pricing um, and then the same thing with cost sell items and it has your RFP, RFP packages um, with ven without vendors or uh, vendors with uh, no pricing as well. So it gives you a good breakdown of where all the information and financial side of things are coming in for your estimate. Down below you also see a bid calendar so that gives you access to see kind of where your upcoming bids are as well so you can keep your focus on the most pertinent. Um, you can click either the estimate number or the base uh, bid. You can click either one of those. The estimate number will bring you directly to this page, just like the base bid would as well. So this just gives you the general information. This is all entered by you. Um, when you first start off creating your estimate, you can link any files you need, or you can have any sent emails related to this attached on this as well. Um, you can import from Microsoft Excel, or you can create your estimate within the system. So right now we're going to view the estimate. And as you can see in the first section, you're going to have to pull in any cost codes related to this. So you'll be able to pull those in and update them as you go along with your estimate through this add import button. Um, you also can enter any locations. Um, you can import those as well, just so any in, uh, any data related to the actual location will also be pulled in um, in terms of tax costs or if you have specific selling cost rates related to certain areas. Items is going to be any of the items that you have entered um, as being part of this, whether you pulled them from within the system or imported them from an Excel sheet outside of the system. All that will get entered inside here and you'll start to get your pricing pulled in as well. So you'll see everything. It'll be broken up by section as well um, by cost code. Um, so you'll see um, and you could do it by quantity and unit or you can just do it by a total cost. Um, situation. So all of this, these are also able to be imported from your cost database, which is over here. Um, so that'll be any materials or um, personnel that you have entered into your cost database based. Your bid management will bring you all of the um, received uh, proposals from your subcontractors and vendors. So as you receive those, those will be able to be pulled in here. Um, they'll be pulled in by each category as well. So you'll have a request for proposal package code um, that they get correlated to. And then as you'll see, you get um, a breakdown of the response status as well as each of their individual bid amounts. Um, and then once you do choose which one you want um, and award it to them, they will appear in uh, your bid management side uh, of things. I'm sorry, not your bid management. Once you choose to award them, they'll get added. Sorry, let me go back to bid management. Once you choose to award um, the item, sorry, you can delete all that. We'll go back here. 
So once you go into bid management, you'll see that there's a vendor response status, as well as any of the companies that you have reached out to for proposals, their uh, status and their bid amount will appear here, as well as um, any other additional details that they fill in when they bid through Team Link. On top of that, once you award your bid, that awarded pricing can get added to your um, estimate um, for your client. On top of that, they have a tab for global markups. So when you click on this, it'll go right here and you can add any material sales tax tax or overhead and profit, um, as well as any other global markups that your company needs to add to your estimate. Then you'll go to your cost code summary and you will see uh, a basic summary of what your costs are going to be for this project. It gives you both your total cost as well as your sell cost because those are two different items and most of your items will have both of those pricings entered in. Once you have all that complete, you will go to your estimate summary and reports. So this gives you the sell, the cost, and the profit margin based on that, as well as any hours that you've entered will also be um, allocated here. You'll get some graphics on where your sell and um, your cost rates actually land, as well as a breakdown in a pie chart for each of the type of sections of this that you guys are spending on. And then it gives you an estimate sell breakdown and an estimate uh, cost breakdown as well. So it gives you all the financial information you need in regards to this. Um, you also have a scope, um, which would be any additional inclusions, exclusions, or clarifications that you want to add to this particular um, estimate and bid to your client. Drawings you can upload here and they'll get attached as well as specs. Once all of that is complete, when you go to your estimate summary, you'll be able to print your proposal. Um, once you print that proposal, it can be emailed out of the system and then you'll have that tracked as well, um, awaiting a response from your client. Um, so once all that's completed, everything will be managed and contained within the system so that everything is refer referenceable. Um, as well as this section, you would be able to create permissions depending on the classification of the people that you have uh, working in the system as part of the team link portal. Um, and you would be able to say what they're able to see, what they're able to access all within the system. And that can be both a universal permissions as well as you can do it by a project by project basis. So you'll be able to control what they have ac access to both globally as well as as a general rule on each individual project. I hope this gave you a good look into estimating uh, with Sage Construction Management. Thanks for your time.